got a job for you. My client had a shitload of beta acid stolen. What's beta acid, you might wonder? Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot, and our client wants it back. That's where you come in. Iron at the ready. More info attached. Here we are. Guess I just gotta wait. Huh? Bill Jablonski. Mm. Did Okada give you the details? My info's I'm supposed to off someone. No, not just anyone. Joshua Stevenson, a fucking murderer. I'll tell you more inside. Get in. You're driving. They're supposed to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow them. I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? So he can smell his own fear before he dies. Plan sounds half-baked. Honestly, don't like it. What's that supposed to mean? First up, don't execute in public. Don't need an audience. Second, they could get away. You don't get it. I spent my life savings on this. That's them! Step on it! I'm gonna blow the motherfucker to bits myself. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking kill him! NCPD! Stop right there! Lieutenant Vasquez, NCPD! Stop right there! You're protecting a murderer! Drop it or I shoot! Wait! No, stop! Stop the killing! They're here to kill you! It's not their fault. Shoot the girl, and our deal is dead. Vasquez! Shoot! Right. Let's just all shoot holes in each other. Before I know, uh, fuck! We can't leave her here. Media vultures will be here any minute. The fuck are you doing? Stop! NCPD! Stay where you are! And get that goddamn semi out of here! We take her with us. What? Olga, we've got a situation. You want me to come? Somebody just come tried with to drop you? us. <laughs> I need you. You're out of your fucking mind. Hey, another Gregor. word from you, and I am busted. An studio. attempted hit on my guy. Don't make me ruin your career. Yeah, 
one cat. Nobody. And I no mean nobody. No priors. Well, harm we'll a deep hair sweep. Just go ahead. I'm just. Uh, Thanks. I owe you. you. No patrol car. And stay off the frequencies too. Can't what the hell is back. this? What's your name? This. What a fucking mess. V. I told you to drop it. Josh head. Stevenson. But you probably knew that already. Fucking listened. You're. We're clear to go. Boys from the what precinct will mop up here. Bill Jablonski. Ring a bell. Sadly, yes. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wait a sec. You're V. I heard of you. Can't say the same about you. We can't take her. Out of the question. She's way too big a threat. Well, I want to give her a job. <sighs> Christ on a stick. Finally, something that isn't a complete snore fest. Could binge watch this all day if I had some popcorn. Gonna tell me what it is you want from me? Well, this one time Rachel is right. We can't stay here. Come with us. You'll find out all you need to know on the way. Got to object, strongly. Noted. But you don't have a vote here. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Got no fucking idea what this is about. But if you don't go with them, I'm never talking to you again. All right, I'll go with you. Uh, move it, we're running late. Have you ever experienced anything that changed the meaning of existence? Changed your life? Could say that, sure. Then you will understand exactly what I'm trying to do. Twelve years ago, I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery. And other sins. I shot and killed several people in cold blood, and it didn't mean anything to me at the time. But behind bars, you get all the time in the world to think. And I thought to correct the errors of my ways. Why'd you shoot him? I was holding a gun. I didn't like the way they looked at me, and I had the power to stop them. I still see their faces just before... <clears throat> ...frozen in time. God, give me strength to never forget. Spelling mistakes you can correct, but murder's murder. You can make amends to the families. You can lead others away from the path of darkness. Spill already. What do you want from me? Stay with me for the day. And I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me? With what money? Not mine. The studio's. And the studio will pay. Still got no idea what it is you want from me. Remain by my side and talk to me. That's it. You don't like Rachel? She's got the gift of the gab, surely. I'm merely a springboard for her career. <laughs> a high-value asset. You're the one I want to talk to. You know, still got that contract to kill you. What's to stop me from fulfilling? Me. One strange twitch, I kill Vasquez, you. Vasquez, keep an eye on them. Hey, there's no reason to upset car. Vasquez. Keep it Your short. Your fixer will get what they want. On a tight schedule. I'll make sure of it. How you figure that? Trust me. Everyone will be satisfied. I guarantee it. Just till the end of the day? Till the end of the day. I sense anything going wrong. I'm out. No one will force you to stay.
Zuleika. You're late. I found a companion along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? She is everything you spoke of. V, meet Zuleika. V, pleasure. Mm. You are a friend of Joshua's? Recent uh, acquaintance, more like. <sighs> Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Uh, come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Please, sit down. Can I offer you anything? A drink? A glass of water. Please. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. Mean to say you let the man who killed your brother off the hook? Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Whether it finds enemies or neighbors, God's love knows no bounds on Earth, and neither should ours. Not every day you run into a true believer in Night City. It was Providence that brought you under my roof. We met because of him. Tell me, V. Do you believe in God? Sure, I believe. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no! I never agreed to anything like this! I'm all ears. Joshua, he... He thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. That is not true. I never said I was any sort of Messiah. Suicide? Do you really think that's what the Lord could ever want from you? It won't be suicide. What exactly is going on here, Joshua? When the media learned I'd found God in prison, the next day my face was on the cover of every screen sheet. A brain dance studio took notice. They sent representatives to make me an offer. <laughs> Bloodsuckers. I was facing the electric chair. Now, with the studio's help, my death will be more than a state-sanctioned murder. They want to scroll a brain dance of Joshua being crucified. An execution like any other, just garbed in holy robes. This is insanity, pure and simple. It's the one thing worse than insanity. Blasphemy. Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence, in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God! It's time the world was reminded of His divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. 
Coked out corpos in their offices, and murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them! And think of paid killers like you, V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Uh, mother's home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house! No! Just go, please! Out! All of you! We should leave. Really. Please, Mrs. Elamar! Murderer! It's okay. Just go. You took my Reuben from me. My child. My son. Let's go back to the car. I just wish I could have talked to Gloria and you know, explained everything. You know, somehow I thought... Oh. I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Who could blame her? It's not easy to forgive your son's murderer. Stevenson, we all knew how that would end. If you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. <sighs> you really want to do this? Get nailed to a cross? Yes. It is something I must do. For if this won't shake the world to its core and wake us from our collective nightmare, then nothing will. Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Need a word with our stowaway here. Wait up a sec, I want to talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? He's got some organic chips loose. Needs psychiatric help. Hmm. My thoughts exactly. But it's too late for that. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain composed entirely of cat shit at this point. He truly believes what he says. Ah, sounds like the perfect BD actor. Mm-hmm, and one incapable of fucking up in any way. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. Tell 
Time's Eddie's V. My answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. Let's go inside. Not bad for a petty merc off the streets. Grown curious how this will all end. In pain and profit, that's how. One's sacred, the other's insane. Though who knows if they aren't congruous concepts. But yeah, I'm curious too. And I've been surprised before. you to open your mouth, Vasquez. Got a tough customer with that Vasquez. Even for a badge. He is set in his ways. Like so many men. Vasquez. He blew inside and out. Might as well have been born with a badge. Must have some solid dirt on him, then. And the studio majority stakeholder's a corp. Unlike you, Vasquez would clearly mind having enemies in high places. Can we please talk about something besides Faith? Josh, your night. Topic of choice. Uh... I, I don't know. <laughs> I spent years not talking to anyone. Okay, nothing hard. What do you do to relax? Uh, <laughs> well, let's see. I, I, I read scripture. Uh, I watch brain dances and movies. Did you hear about the remake of Badlands Raid? Yeah, kicks the original's ass, trust me. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Relax, Rachel. Yes, why, I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? What do you do to unwind? None of your fucking business. I mean it as a serious question. I meditate. Didn't take you for one with a spiritual side? You being, well, you. Know what your problem is, all of you? You refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? Tell you exactly why. No, I, I don't give the slimmest shit what you have to say. Ugh, all this talk about grace and salvation and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a beady producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. All of them. But, Rachel... No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal, we'll put you up at the studio. And you... get lost. I'll get your fee soon. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. Prof, really well played, Dad. What do you make of it? Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen, but it's still corporate exploitation. I just feel bad for him. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? Corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on, where's Rebel Johnny? Seem to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real Rebel. Make up your mind. Which is it, Nutjob or Messiah? He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head. And you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside it. 
Guess if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. What do you think? God exists? Fuck. Kill me, please. Come on. Serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined, then got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct can even be saved. Truth is, I died and rose again. Plain and simple. Uh-huh, so what was that? A miracle? What's it making? A messiah, a phoenix, or a factory restored early model archer? I got no fucking idea what it was, and neither do you. Tell you exactly what brought you back. A clever bit of corpo tech. If there's a true messiah among us, I'll tell you who it is. Saburo Arasaka. Hmm? One you'd summarily execute if you ran into him. See, that's why I'm me and you're you. You drop to your knees before gods. I drop them. Pop them right between the eyes. You're gonna tell me you don't think about being a digital psyche? Possible consequences thereof. Really? I mean, are you already dead? Or alive till the last existing Digi-Ghost of you is shredded? Meaning, like, am I gonna ascend to Digi-Heaven? Descent to Digi-Hell's more likely, but... Yeah. If there is life after death, is Silverhand already living the afterlife? Meaning I'm talking to his animated epitaph? I don't give it an ounce of thought. Surprise! To me, I'm just that. Me. No nether world, no happy wonder world, just duped digital psyches. Oh, weird as fuck today. Just kind of unreal. But reality beckons. Come on, we got places to trash. <laughs> <laughs>